let's get started. Let's start warming up, rolling the shoulders. I always like it when I've got a few people in a morning class. Sometimes it's just Felix and I. Felix is captain of the A team. Um, good, and rolling those shoulders back. Nice. This is a good start to our Friday or end to Abby and Emily's Thursday in Canada. <laughs> Good, arms out to the side, let's rotate those shoulders. So I like on a Friday to sort of end with quite a lot of mobility, pure Pilates, because we've had quite a big week of training. So we try and get the body moving, loosen everything off, planning ahead for the weekend. Let's roll the shoulders. Nice, rolling them forward, and let's go back. Lovely. Alright, let's start with some cactus. Standing up nice and tall, taking a nice deep breath in, bringing your arms up and breathing out. Pulling those elbows into your waist, squeezing your shoulder blades together, lifting your chest. Breathing in, arms up above your head and breathing out as you stretch forward. Keep that back nice and flat, legs straight, reach tummy pulled in and folding down to the ground and breathing out as you curl up, pulling your belly button in, curling up. Roll the shoulders down on your back and head's the last thing to come up. Good, let's go for two more, breathing in and out, squeezing those elbows into your side, lifting up your chest, breathing in, arms up and breathing out as you're reaching forward. Stretch, pull the belly button in, have a lovely stretch, tiny touch, touch the wall, and breathing out, fold down. And curling up, one vertebra at a time. Keep your head down, tucking up from the base of your spine, shoulders down and back, and head's the last thing to come up. Good, one more, breathing in. And out. Squeeze those elbows into your side, lift your chest. Breathing in, arms up, and breathing out as you stretch one last time, reach, and folding down. While you're here, let's swing side to side like a rag doll. Make sure your arms are relaxed, your head is relaxed, nice and comfortable. And then slowly walking out into a plank. Christina, you can put your knees down, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. From here, you're going to step your right foot forward. If you need to drop your back knee, you can, otherwise stay up. Reach that right arm. Try and touch the wall, touch the ceiling, take it all the way around. And coming back. Step back into plank or half plank. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. Left side, step that foot forward. Reach. Try and touch the wall, touch the ceiling, come all the way back. And back. Good. We're going to do three on each side. So two more. Right leg. When you step back into your plank, make sure you step back into a perfect plank. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in. And stepping back. Tummy in. Nice. Left side. And round. And back. One more each side. Right. Reach. Stretch. Beautiful job, guys. Remember, you can drop that knee. Last time, reaching forward. Try and stretch that arm. And all the way down. Very nice. Drop that back knee onto the floor. Your left leg is forward. And your knee is over your ankle. Hands on the floor. And you're going to roll your hips side to side. So this is just loosening off the hip capsule, hip joint. Good, nice little movement. And then straight, straight your front knee. Stick your bottom out behind you and coming forward. So you want to make this a nice smooth movement, stretching forward and back. That's it. Reach. We're going for five. We've got two more. And back. And last one, stretching back and forward. Very nice. Let's change legs. So my right leg's going in front, knee over ankle, hands on the floor, and slide that back leg back. And we're going to roll the hips side to side. Lovely. Just a little movement, loosening off the back, the sort of pelvic area. And now stretch, reaching back. 
behind you and you're going to roll your knees side to side. So this just loosening off the hip joints, getting things working before our workout. Really lean on your hands behind you. Have your hands quite far so you can lean back. That just opens up the hip capsule a little bit. Nice. So we're going to add to it. Good. Let's do two more. One more each side. Nice. Now you're going to sit with your hands off the floor. Doing the same thing. So we're going to roll the knees each side. That's it. Rolling side to side. Good. Try and keep your knees bent. You will find you start moving forward. <laughs> Don't worry, you can scoot yourself back. Good, let's go for one more each side. Right, my knees are now facing my right side. So, I'm going to face my front leg, which is my right leg. I'm going to slide my back leg back so it's quite far behind me. And I'm going to face this front leg with both hands on either side of my right knee. Okay. From here, we're going to lift that back leg off the floor. Make sure it's not by your side. It is quite behind you because you want to activate your glute. So leaning a little bit forward, tummy in, let's lift up for 10. 9, squeezing, it's a small lift. 8, very good. 7, 6, nice job. 5, squeeze, you'll feel it here. 4, 3, 2, one, very nice. Let's roll over to the other side. So your left leg's in front. Slide that back leg back. Face your left knee, hands on either side. Leaning a little bit forward and from here, you're going to lift up. Let's go. Reach. Four, nine more. Tummy pulled in. Eight, don't arch your back. Seven, nice. Six, beautiful. Five. Four. If you're not feeling it in your glutes, take your leg further behind you. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come into four point kneeling. So, shoulders directly under your hands. Pull your tummy in away from the floor so your back is nice and flat. Tuck your toes under. We're going to do Two, lifting your knees and hovering. Christine, you're going to stay with this. We're going to add to it, but I think you should stay with the hover. So, from here, breathing out. As you pull your knee, your belly button into your spine, lift your knees up and hold. For five, four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, let's go again. Breathing out to lift. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Christine, you're going to stay with that. The rest of us, we're going to lift and hover. You're going to twist and touch your foot. I'm bringing my foot through under me. And back. And twist and touch your foot. So you're taking the leg under and twist. Okay, otherwise you can just stay with the hover. Let's go for eight more. Shoulders down and back. Seven. Nice. Six. It's like a little break dancing move. Five, make sure when you come back into your four point kneeling, it's a perfect position. You could stop here and it's your perfect four point. Nice, three more. Reach and twist. Two more. Tummy pulling all the time. One more. And relax, very nice. Go into a child's pose, just have a little stretch. Push the palms of your hands into the floor so you can really push away from your back. Stretching, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Push your hands into the floor. Good, come up into four point knee. We're going to go into downward dog from here. So from four point, lift your hips and stick your chest through your shoulders. Tummy up. We're going to do heel raises. Lift your heels up and down, both legs. So we're stretching those calves. From here, in this position, you don't want to be moving forward and back. Your body stays exactly still. Your bottom just lifts as you're reaching up and down. We've got five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. From here, Christina, you're going to go from four-point kneeling into downward dog. So this is the option. If you've got back issues, you're going to go with both legs. If you 
don't, we're going to do our single leg downward dog with a hover. So, put your right foot over your left ankle. Hover the left knee off the floor. And we're going to reach up, stretch, twist and open. And come back to four point knee leg. But the hover on one leg. Let's go, stretch. We're doing six one leg, six the other. You can stay with both feet on the ground. Stretch and twist. Nice. You can do your double leg downward dog to kneeling. Let's go for three more. Stretch and open. And down. Two, reach. Lovely. Make the most of the movement. Stretch. Very nice. Let's change sides. Left ankle. Left foot on right ankle. As you hover the knee, you stretch up. Come back down. Don't put the knee down. Tummy in. Nice. We've got five more. Keep stretching. Tummy pulled in all the time. Beautiful. Three more. Two. Reach and stretch. Hover. Last one. And relax it down. Well done. Roll out your wrists. You should feel nice and warm and warm and open. Right, we're going to go into a side plank. We're going to do a side plank with twisting. So you can do this in a half plank or a full plank. If you're in a full plank, top leg in front. And from here you're going to reach up. We're going to twist under. And up. We're going for 10 each side, okay? Let's go in three, two, one. You can do it in a half plank or a full. Let's go, twist, and up, nine. You can twist your whole body as you roll under. Tummy pulled in, seven, six. Keep squeezing, five. Four, go onto your knees if you need. Nice. Three, very good. Two, and one. Beautiful. Let's come into a front plank. We're going to hold it here, nose over your hands. Let's go. Straight into it. You can do it on your knees if you need. You're holding. Nose over hands, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. We're going for 45 seconds. Keep holding, tummy pulled in all the time. Squeeze your bottom, put your heels together and you can squeeze your bum. We've got 20 seconds left. And squeeze, shoulders down. Tummy pulled in. We haven't held the front plank for a while, 15. Nice, 10 seconds, squeeze. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Shoo! We haven't done a front plank for a while. We always do moving in and out of it, so I think I need to build that back in because that's quite tough. Right, onto your other side. We're going to do the plank and twist. So you can go in your half plank or full plank. If you're in a full plank, top leg in top, in front. Let's go. Make sure your elbow is directly under your shoulder. Lifting up, and we're going to twist. Let's go for 10. One. Good. Two. Three. Beautiful. Four. Squeeze your inner thighs. Five. Good. As you open up, make sure you open up completely. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Very nice. Come lie on that side. We're going to stay lying. So I'm on my right side. Doesn't matter whichever side you're on. You're going to wrap your underneath arm around your rib cage. So my right arm is under my rib cage. Left hand on the floor next to my elbow. Squeeze your inner thighs. We're going to do our single tricep push up for 10. Let's go. Breathing out as you lift. Tummy pulled in. Come up all the way. Squeeze. Nice. Three. Four. As you go down, don't relax completely at the bottom. 
keep it a little bit of tension. It's like a touchdown coming up. Five more. Four. Three. Beautiful. Two. One. Nice. We're going to stay on your side. Move your legs 30 degrees in front of you. We're going to do our sideline series. Top hand in front. Roll that top hip slightly forward. So I'm rolling my hip bone towards the ground. Stretch that leg away and let's lift up and down. For 10. Make sure you feel it in your glutes. If you're not, you can roll that top hip more forward. Nice. Five. Six. Seven. Pull the belly button in all the time. Nine. Ten, hold that leg there, little circles. Eight, seven, six. Now control this movement with your abs. There shouldn't be a lot of movement here. Two, one, other way. Squeeze. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Now roll back slightly onto your underneath glutes. So you're rolling up. So my hips are now a little open. Lift the underneath leg. Ten. Nine, so the bottom leg comes to the top. Eight, seven, squeeze, don't lower the top leg. Six, tummy in. Five, four, three, nice. Two, one, very good. Bend that underneath leg. Take this top leg in line with the body. And you're going to bring it forward. Drop it down. Squeeze back to your line with your body and up. Forward. Down. Back. When you take it back, make sure you're not arching your back. So from here, it's just too neutral. <laughs> Squeezing the butt. Down and back. Five more. Lift. Forward. Down. <sighs> Lift. Make sure you're controlling it all with the tummy and the pelvis. Squeeze. Your bum is working. Nice, two more. Up. And that last one. Very good. Holding it here, take it into the front, 90 degrees in front of you. Down and up for 10. Nine, pull in those abs. Eight, if it's too much, bend the knees. Seven, six, five. You should feel your bum. Three, two, one, take that leg back, stretch out both your legs. Very nice. We're going to go into our side V. If this, is, if this is Christina for you, you can always bend your legs and do a little side crunch. So here my knees are facing the camera, my shoulders are facing the ceiling, and I'm crunching up, okay? Otherwise, from here, we're breathing out, we're lifting up all the way and down. Let's go for 10, breathing out as you lift. Good. And down. Eight. Lifting up, tummy in. Use the hand that's on the floor. Push into that hand. Nice. Control it. Six, tummy in. Pause. Five. Nice. End your case. Four, squeeze, and down. Three, lifting up. Shoulder down and back. I want to see a little picture. Two, pause. Nice. Last one. And coming down onto your back before we go to the other side, we're going to do our dead bug. Hands to the ceiling. Make sure your knees, if you can, have them over your hips. If you need to control it more, you can pull them in a little bit closer. But with your knees over your hips, you still want to lift your tailbone. And from here, we're going to opposite arm and leg. Extend. Breathing out to come back. Your lumbar spine stays glued to the floor. You're still lifting your tailbone. So while stretching that leg out, you've still got your lower abs connected. Tummy pulled in all the time. If you can't keep your back on the floor, bring your knees in closer. 
Okay, five more, tummy pulled in. Connect, lift your tailbone. All the time, keeping that connection, lumbar spine glued to the floor. Three more. Two more. Last one. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. And we're going to lie on our other side. Have a quick sip of water if you need. And then we go into the other side. Right, so I'm going to be lying on my left side. My left arm, my underneath arm is wrapping around my ribs. Legs together, squeeze your inner thighs. My right hand is on the floor and they're lying with my elbow. We're going to do our tricep push-ups. Keep your stomach connected. Breathing out as you lift. Let's go. Breathing out. One. Squeeze those legs together. Two. Don't let them lift. Three. Four. Beautiful job. Five. Six. Squeeze that elbow. Seven. Nice and strong. Eight. Nine. And ten. Very nice. Lie down all the way. Move both your legs 30 degrees in front of you. Squeeze your inner thighs. Hand on the floor. Roll that top hip forward so it's in front of my underneath hip. And let's go. Lifting up and down. Stretch that leg away from you. Try and imagine I'm pulling your leg away from you. So you're opening up your waist. And you're feeling it here. Squeeze. Five more. Four, tummy pulled in. Three. Two, nice. One, hold it there, eight circles one way. Tummy pulled in, you're controlling this from your abs and your pelvis. There's no movement going on in your hips. Three, two, one other way. Squeeze, beautiful. Open up. Three, two, one, hold the leg there, roll back onto your underneath glute. We're lifting up and down. Squeeze. Really use your abs for this because your abs and your inner thighs are so connected. Your inner thighs really are an extension of your core. So you want to keep the leg there, lifting up, breathing out. Four, four more. Three, two, one, bend that underneath leg, straighten out that leg in line with your body. We're going forward, drop down, extend back through the glutes and up. Down, make sure you don't arch your back with it, so pull your belly button in. Nice, drop and back. Four, drop, squeeze back. Five. Very good, nearly there. Six, tummy pulled in all the time. And squeeze. Seven. Drop. Connect those abs all the time. Don't let them go. Squeeze from the glutes. Two more. Woo! I'm starting to feel this in my bum. And one. We're more sort of in my like hip here where my stubble bags are. Take your leg in front of you. Let's drop down and up. Nine. Eight, tummy in. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful, straighten those legs out. So Christina, you're gonna bend your knees up, shoulders facing the ceiling. And if you have any back issues, that's a good one. Otherwise, we're going to hand on the floor. Legs out straight. We're going to breathe out and lift both the legs into a V. And I want you to have a little pause so I can see your picture. Nice. We're going for 10. That's two. Breathing out as you lift. Good. Three. Tummy pulled in. Beautiful. Four. You roll back slightly as you lift up using your abs. Five. Good job. Halfway. Six. And squeeze. Seven. Woo! All the way. I need to roll right over. Lifting up, pause. I want 
two more. Breathing out as you lift, use your obliques. Nice, last one. Pause, hold it, hold it, hold it. Well done, and come by your back. Hands by your side or behind your head. We're gonna go into our leg swaps. So from here, knees over hips, lift your tailbone. Tuck the foot down, breathing out to change. Make sure you keep your tailbone lifted. And this movement happens from the hips. I'm not bending the knees more. The knees stay the same. I'm literally bending from the hips. For 10, 9, lift your tailbone. 8, tummy pulled in. 7, 6, beautiful everyone. 5, 3, 2, 1, very nice. Now the next version of that, you can keep going with your single leg swap. Or we're going to do both legs. So it's the same thing. We're just tapping down and up. With this, you mustn't arch your back. So only take your legs as much as you can manage, keeping your back flat. If you get to halfway, then you stop. Otherwise, you're going to do your leg swaps. Keep going. Let's go for 10. Really work those abs as you lower the feet down. Make sure your back doesn't arch. Pull those abs in all the time. Nice, we've got six more. Tummy pulled in, beautiful guys. Five, connect, connect. Go nice and slowly so you're controlling it. Tummy in, if you feel your back arch, please stop. Four more, squeeze those abs. Good control, I'm impressed. Two. And last one. Very nice. Roll yourself up. We're going to come into a half plank. We're going to do a hip drop with kick out. You don't need to know what that is. I'm going to show you. Right. So we're going to go onto your left knee in a sort of half plank. So from here, I'm in one line. My hand is directly under my shoulder. You're going to drop your hips down, push up onto that knee and kick out. So you can see as I come up, I actually push back on my arm and kick. So we go drop, push back and kick. Nice. Let's go for 10. Tummy in. If you want to just keep the side plank, you can keep it here. Let's go. Nine. Drop. And down. I don't want you to drop the hips completely to the floor. You're just going towards the floor. You're not resting. Nice. Tummy pulled in. Seven. And kick. When you kick, that leg is in line with your body. Good. Six. And kick. Five. Tummy pulled in. Four. Reach. Three. Nice. Two, one, very good. We're gonna go from here straight into push-ups before we change sides. So you can go into half push-ups, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. I want your elbows grazing your side as you go up and down. Let's go for 10, nine, tummy pulled in. Make sure you're not arching the back, eight, Seven, six, tummy in all the way, squeeze your bum, four, three, two, one, well done, back into child's pose, have a little stretch, and let's go to the other side. So we're going to half plank, your hand is directly under your shoulder because when we go back you want to be able to have space to push back. Okay, so half plank, nice straight line, let's go drop the hips down towards the floor and push to kick. Two, three, make sure this leg is in line with your body. Nice, four, dropping the hips down. Don't rest completely, you're just going towards. 
five more. So we're working the underneath. As you have to push up from here, you squeeze. Nice. Four. Three. Nearly there. Two. One. Well done. Very nice. Come and lie on your back. We are almost there. We're going to do a little pelvic curl series, but not our normal one. From here, hands by your side. Make sure you can touch your heels with your hands by your side. And we're going to curl up into your pelvic curl, lifting up. Hips up, curl that pelvis, tummy pulled in. Now from here, lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Push through your right heel. And we're going to drop that left leg down and up. For 10, tummy pulled in, keep those hips level. Nine, eight, you've really got to push through that right leg. Seven, six, squeeze. Five, push through that heel. Four, tummy pulled in all the time, keep your hips level. One, very nice, put that foot down, change sides. Keep both your hips up. As you lift that leg, don't let that hip drop. Let's go for 10. Nine, squeeze the abs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, tummy pulled in all the time. Three, lift those hips. Two, your bottom's off the floor. One, legs down, keep those hips up off the ground. Now from here, we're going to do our hip rotation. So you drop one hip down towards the floor and then you squeeze that glute up. You drop the other one to the floor and squeeze. So we're not actually dropping it to the floor, you're just rotating the pelvis. Drop and squeeze. So from the front, I'm literally rotating my pelvis like this. But I'm squeezing, so from here I'm dropping and squeeze, drop and squeeze. Let's go for five more. Keep your tummy pulled in. Four, three, squeezing up. Two, one, very nice. Lift that left leg up to the ceiling again. We're going to have single legs up and down for 10. Nine, push through that heel. Eight, seven, six, nice. Five, four, three, two, one, change legs, right leg up, and ten, let's go up and down, pushing up through the heel, two, three, try and keep your hips level, tummy pulled in, four, five, squeeze through that heel, six, seven, eight, squeezing up, nine, Ten. Well done. Hug those knees into your chest. Very good. Right, from here, hands behind your head. You're going to keep your knees up. We're going to do a curl. So you're going to lift your head and shoulders. Tuck your hips in. So you're lifting your bum up. Curl together. And then open up. As you do that double leg swap, tapping down, head back. Make sure you're not arching. So we're going to go curl and down. Breathing out at you and down. Tummy pulling all the way. Make sure as you drop your feet, you're not arching your back. Eight. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Do a little swing. Five. Four. Squeeze and lift. Three. Drop your head back as you lower your feet. Two. One. Very nice. Feet down on the ground together. Open your knees. So we've got our diamond sit up. From here, we're going to go into our full diamond sit up. So your legs stay open. Hands either in front of you or behind your head. And we're going to curl all the way up. And curling down. Make sure you roll through that spine. Breathing out as you lift. Nice. 
and curling down. Roll through that spine. We're going for 10. You've got eight more. And down. Beautiful. Seven. Oh, it's a lot harder with your arms. Without arms. Six. Breathing out as you lift. And down. Good. Breathing out. Curl down with your belly button. Nice. And down. We've got three more. Good job. Lovely. You're all getting strong. Christine, you've done so well today. Your back's perfect and everything, which is great. Two more. Oh, I lied. I'm sure that was our last one. And rolling out. Stretch out your arms. Stretch out your legs. We're going to do our roll up, but I want your feet apart from each other. So open your legs so your legs are wide like your mat. Legs are out straight. And we're going to do our roll up. This just makes it a little bit harder because you can't squeeze your thighs together. If you need to, you can put your legs together. Otherwise, we're going to breathe in, arms and head up. Breathing out to curl up. And reach forward between your legs as much as you're able to. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. And curl down from your pelvis. Look at your belly button all the way. Nice. Four more. Breathing in. And out. And reach. Nice. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. And curl. Look at your belly button. Curling it down. Good. Three more. Breathing in. And out. Make sure as you come up, you really engage your abs. Sitting up nice and tall. And curling down. Good. Two more. Breathing in. And up. And reach. Sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders down your back. Curl from your belly button. All the way. Last one. And up. Sitting up nice and tall, and then curl, roll it down through your back. Very nice. Hug your knees into your chest. We're going to do roll like a ball into the rocker. If you're not doing the rocker, which is with your legs straight, holding behind your calves, you're going to stay holding like a ball. So we're tucking in. Look at your belly button, curl. We're going to go for four, and then change to the rocker if you want to. Otherwise, stay here. Nice. Now, abby and ends. Straighten your legs up. Hold behind your calves. Go down and up. Balance. Nice. Tummy in. Three more. Use your breath to help you come up. Two. One. Well done. Very nice. Stay in sitting. Awesome job, guys. That should get you either ready for being in Canada or ready for the day here in Cape Town. <laughs> okay, let's cross your right leg over your left leg. We're going to stay in sitting for our stretching. I want you to try and get your right bum cheek on the floor. So the temptation when you cross is to kind of lie all on your left side. Try and get that right bum down. Hug your knee into your chest with your left arm. And then twist to the right. So you're going to twist your body round. Keep that bum down. Breathing out as you twist. Nice. Good. Coming round. Take that leg away. Let's change sides. Left leg in front. Right leg behind. You're going to sit on your left bum cheek. Get that bum down. And hug your knee in. And stretch. Twisting. Think of going tall as you twist. Try and lift your chest. You don't want to sink. You want to grow tall. Very nice. Sit with your feet together and your knees out to the side. It's a little froggy position. I don't have the best flexibility with this. Don't worry about it. You're going to have your feet on your knees. Hands. Oh, I forgot it. My words. Ignore me. Hold your feet. That's what I meant. And pulse your knees up and down. And then let's just try and bring your head towards your feet. As you can see, I don't have the greatest flexibility with this, but it's all about stretching and getting the body moving. 
Very nice. Open up the legs. And let's just have a stretch this way. If you get your legs open, keep your feet facing up to the ceiling. Put your hands behind your bottom. This is where ballet dancers have an advantage. And stretch. Try and lift your chest up. Push your body a little bit forward. Keep those feet facing up to the ceiling. Don't let them roll in. Nice. And slide your legs back together. Shake them out. Well done, guys. That was amazing. Have a beautiful sleep in Canada. Have a fabulous day here in Cape Town. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Sorry, Ads. <laughs> Thanks, Dick. Thanks, Christina. Well done.